happy three years to my car. Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name is Lizzie and I am a Disney plush collector but I do all things Disney on this channel so if that's something that interests you then please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you're always notified when there's a new video from me. So happy Tuesday, I hope you're all having a great start to your week. Today is the 18th of May and yesterday marked three years since I passed my driving test. So as next month is three years since I got my very first car, as I've done every year on this channel, I am going to do a Fiat 500 car tour and Disney car update. Because as you know, I am always adding new things to my Disney car. Most recently, I bought a new cushion for the passenger seat. And if you didn't see that, it was in my iPod favourites, so I will leave a card up above. But there will be a car tour later in this video. So even though I got my car in June, it was strictly road worthy from the March of 2018 so it was due for its first MOT. If you are not from the UK an MOT is a yearly test that the car goes through to check that the car is still roadworthy, check its emissions and just checking the general safety of the car. So in the UK you don't have to have an MOT until the car is three years old but after that it is every single year. So on the day it had its MOT, I had to have the day off because it involved dropping the car off at 8 o'clock and picking it back up at 2. So I had the day off and I thought I would do a miniature vlog of the day. So because it was going to a garage, I had to take everything out of the car and I used this opportunity to wash the blankets. I had to take it to a garage that was roughly a 10 minute drive from my house. And then I chose this day to be my hair wash day. So I washed my hair whilst I was waiting for my car to be ready. and they sent me a little video to talk me through the wheels and things like that. So I dropped it off at about 8.30 and then I could pick it up at 2. So my dad took me to go and get it, so he dropped me off and then I drove back in my car. They actually cleaned it for me as well, which was really nice of them, because even though it hasn't been driven, it has been getting quite dirty sat on the drive. I do try and take it out at least once a week, but as I am still working from home, I am not really going anywhere. But it was all nice and clean and I was able to put everything back in the car. So I thought, like I've done for the past two years, I would show you around my Disney car. I should probably say I'm wearing this Pizza Planet jumper as well because this is the first photo shoot I had in my car. When I worked at Morrison's, my friend Sarah took pictures of me in my Pizza Planet hoodie getting into my car and I've always loved that mini photo shoot that we did. I also used to have a red Minnie Mouse mask that my partner channel Geeking Out with Melly Mel got me, but I don't know where it's gone. I know I last wore it the last time I went into work. And I know I came home with it, but I don't know where it's gone. So I'm really hoping I find it as it matches my car. So without further ado, let me show you the Minnie Mouse details in my Disney car. Okay, so first of all, in the pocket, I've got this Disneyland Resort aerial topper. It doesn't really fit and I don't want it breaking off. So I just keep it down there. I got this on a April 2018 trip because I knew my test was in May. So I bought it just in case. And you may see my old air fresheners down there because I've replaced the air freshener with the keyring. I've just put a Minnie Mouse swishable keyring that the Jodie and Laurel have got me on my mirror and it looks super cute. And then behind the wheel is a red Minnie Mouse. It's just in the compartment that they give you for like loose change and stuff like that. 
So on my car keys I've got an L from Dragon Lace Designs with little red mickeys in resin. I've got this Minnie Mouse keyring from Joe's mom. I'm not sure where it's from. And I've got this Minnie Mouse keyring from Disneyland Paris. And then down here I've got the body of my Minnie Mouse USB. It's currently in. And then I've got some Mickey Mouse coasters from Dragon Lace Designs and a Shop Disney UK succulent. This is my driver's side mat and my Mickey Mouse shoes from Asda. And then this is my passenger side mat and then if I pull down this, I've got this for like wires and stuff. I have this in here for absolutely no reason and then I've got a red charging wire as well. And then in the pocket I've got the little mini cuddlies. If you didn't see my cuddlies collection I'll put a card here. I've also got this little bag for essentials. It's got a tea stain there because I use it for work. If it's not in the glove compartment then it's in my work bag. And this is the new Primark mini mouse cushion which is on my passenger seat. And then just behind my clutch, I've got my red Minnie Mouse Wisher Ball and my red Minnie Mouse Tiny Big Feet. And then on the back seat, I've got two different Primark blankets. And then I've got an emoji cushion, a large Samsung cushion, a Primark mini cushion, I believe that's an entertainer cushion, and a Minnie Mouse from Shop Disney UK with the date I passed my test. And I've got a mini emoji in the corner and a mini holding onto the seatbelt. And then in the back mirror, you can see my Minnie Mouse decal. And in the boot, I've just got a penguin, an umbrella and a little cosmetics bag. And just behind me, I've got an organiser. Can't really see, but there's a very small mini there. And that is all of my little Minnie Mouse details in my car. For anyone who's interested of the exact model, I have a Fiat 500 lounge. I believe it's a 1.2 litre engine. It's not a very powerful car, but I don't need a very powerful car, to be honest. I really love that car. It is my absolute baby, and I'll be so upset the day I have to give it up. But for now, I am just cherishing it and filling it with as much Minnie Mouse stuff as I can get and the children that walk past the house really love pointing out my car to their parents which my dad always finds quite funny because his office is on the front of the house so he sees it although most of the like decoration of my car is on the back seat which you wouldn't be able to see walking past so I think they just see like the little mini hanging from the mirror and the sticker on the back of the car. So that was my Disney car update. I have done this three years in a row now so you can see how much more I've bought for the car. If you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what your favourite item in my Disney car was. I will be back on Friday for my full Duffy and Friends collection, so I hope you guys will join me then. I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you on Friday. Bye!